These beach sweeps, which are run by Clean Ocean Action, take place twice a year, with volunteers getting in the sand all over New Jersey and picking up whatever trash they can find. But we've been told that their latest experience back in fall was somewhat unusual, as for the first time, they started picking up a different kind of litter. It was PPE, masks, and gloves, all related to the pandemic, and they were picking it up by the hundreds. On a pristine spring day at the beach, try to take your eyes off the surf and look down to your feet. We did, and that's when we saw it. An N95 mask stuck in the dunes. The fall beach sweep, which saw 4,000 volunteers clean up garbage at over 40 beaches, found enough PPE that Clean Ocean Action created a brand new category for that type of trash. In total, the beach sweep pulled out over 1,000 pieces of virus-related trash, 680 face masks, 92 disposable wipes, and 341 items that were unspecified. We try to use cloth masks in general just to be less wasteful, but yeah, we, yeah, you know, we try to make sure that we can throw out our garbage in a garbage can. Sejal Patel and her children have actually taken part in beach cleanups. They've seen the plastic bottles and beer cans that make it onto the beach, and they're making an effort to use less of everything. It's just putting it in a garbage can or a recycling bin. If everyone did their part, it can make a big difference. Others who live close by referred to a familiar theme. I grew up here. I grew up on these beaches, so I, I never leave garbage behind. I wish, uh, I wish the out-of-towners would think the same way. On the boardwalk in Point Pleasant today, there were crowds of people enjoying the good weather, and for the most part, people were wearing masks. Those with Clean Ocean Action, who've been putting on these beach sweeps for 35 years, say it doesn't take much to make sure the PPE and plastic makes it into the trash and not on the sand. In the last cleanup, 79% of all items picked up were plastic. The most collected items, plastic pieces, plastic caps and lids, food, and candy wrappers. While there is an effort to ban plastic bags and straws, Clean Ocean Action says we must become less dependent on all things plastic, offering a dire warning. It's getting worse, it's not getting better as we all are, are shifting to more and more plastic. Oh, gee. Well, you, you know, this is just awful news, uh, Chris. I imagine this has a bigger impact, though, than garbage on the beach. There is. Of course, we talk about the danger to us. There's also the danger to the sea life. Clean Ocean Action, of course, does not want this trash to get into the ocean as it can entangle or kill sea life and all the birds that live out here on the beach as well. That's what's so important here. Again, these cleanups take place twice a year. The next one is right around the corner on April 17th.